I think we're just about done. They were starving. So here's the thing is um, two of the babies, the ones that were really, really small, I think are kind of getting knocked away from mom um, and are not able to get to her as well. So they both have gotten super, super skinny. So what I have started doing is, um, and I just started this last night, is I have decided to start supplemental feeding. Um, I'm not taking them away from mom. They, like right now, they're in the nest box with everybody else. I have checked her babies. She feeds in the morning. Um, she's normally had them fed by seven or eight o'clock in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let her feed her babies and if they can get something from her, great. Um, but then in the evening when I come out and do my final barn check, um, I will take them um, and give them a little bit of supplemental formula to kind of help boost them along because these other two are huge by comparison and they're really pushing these babies away so they're not able to like I'll come out here and the two big ones have bellies that are tight like little ticks but the other two are so skinny that you can see body parts so I'm trying to supplemental feed them because I really don't want to lose two more so I'll keep you guys updated and tell you how it goes I just came out to the barn and this one is not looking very good. It's really, really cold and really slow moving. So I'm going to take it in the house and get a towel out of the dryer and get it warmed up as quick as I can. Um, the two bigger ones, the other one is snuggled under the big one, but this one was actually pushed out of the nest. So I'm going to try to get this one warm. I may end up just having to foster this one completely. I came in and we warmed up this baby it's on its head I, ra I warmed up this baby um, and it seems to be doing okay it's little rear is dirty I'm going to have to wash it off I don't think mama was doing anything for it um, ow I'm not got anything for you um, the other one by the time I actually got it in and we attempted to warm it up warming was the first important thing um, foods next, cleanings after that but um, Little Bridges, the littlest one, by the time we got it in and attempted to warm it, he was already stiff. So, I knew something was terribly wrong with these because they are so tiny by comparison to the others. I mean, literally, this is probably a fifth, a fifth of the size of the other ones. The other ones look like ginormous hippos. Um, and these are just so skinny and so little. So, um, I'm going to feed it. Uh, it took to formula last night. We did a chin to supplement it last night, last night, and it did take to it. Don't get upside down. Um, so, uh, I mean, it took it really well. So we're gonna try that again, and give it a little clean bottom, and then stick it back in here. And we're gonna try to save this baby. We'll see how this goes. So we have a clean butt. He likes to sleep on his head. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. I'll just, I keep saying he, but I really don't know what it is. But, um, got a clean booty now, and I am replacing the hot water bottle about every hour to make sure we're staying nice and warm. Looks like we've got poop on us again. Good Lord. Well, at least we know if there's stuff coming out, then he's doing good with having stuff going in, so. And then we'll feed again later this evening. I really hope this baby makes it. I love his little mohawk in his head. <laughs> None of the other ones have that. It's just the cutest thing. It's got a little mohawk. So, <sighs> I really hope this baby makes it. We'll see. I'm sure the next couple weeks will be touch and go. Let's clean his butt. I know you're not a fan. I know you're not a fan. I know this is not fair, is it? 
See, who volunteered to do this? Ow, why are you buying me? Huh, you thinking I'm gonna feed you? You think if you bite me, I'm gonna feed you? Well, I'm not. Because it's not dinner time yet. All that butt's wicked. Now listen, wiggle worm. Listen, little tiny wiggle worm. Oh, Winter, nobody's talking to you. Well, at least we're pee peeing too. That's a good thing. Yeah. Little skinny bony Maloney. Golly bum, you're so tiny. You ain't nothing but a minute. You ain't nothing but a minute. Oh goodness, let's get you back in your warm. Water bottle is warm, huh? Yeah. Goodness and mercy. <laughs> all right. Get you all snuggled up in there. Get you nice and clean and dry. Good night, little one. So I will try to keep you as updated as possible on what happens with this baby rabbit. Um, and I'll show you a real quick. I'm gonna go out to the barn real quick. I'm gonna check on the other babies and make sure everything's okay. I know they're. They were doing really good last time I seen them, so I'll show you the, the other babies. Bless you. You can see the siblings are totally different. These little fat pork chops are so fat, they have wrinkles. <laughs> Let's roll you around. Look how fat this baby is. So you can tell that these babies are totally different than the little teeny tiny thing I've got in the house. They're doing fantastic. They're eating good. So I'm not concerned about them. They're doing really good. I know I know it's cold. The other one, my little velveteen black baby. Gosh, it's gorgeous. It's got all of its fuzz on it. But they're finally getting hair. And they're just little tiny. I can't wait for their little eyes to open. Oh goodness. You silly thing. So yeah, as you can see, these guys are huge. They're doing great. Mama's doing a good job with them. Okay guys, so there you see, the two big babies are doing fantastic. They're fat, they look like little roly polies. Um, and I'll keep you updated the best that I can on little britches. I'm sure the next couple of days will be kind of touch and go. So we'll see. So I'll let you know as soon as I know something. Love you guys. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye.